question is, I guess, what a small world it is. I went out to visit the audience. Somebody from your hometown, right? Now? Well, actually, she's from Glens Falls. Mm -hmm. We're very tribal. That's got to be a good 17 or 18 miles. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is from my, my home area. I was born in Glens Falls Hospital. Uh -huh. Back in 1974, as a matter of fact. Yeah, okay, let me add this. Stop with that. Hey, 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 hey. 74. Never mind. 74. Hey guys, actually, no, one of my 19 years old. 19 years old? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First 17 were breeze, and then it just kind of imploded. <laughs> right. He looks 19 to me, girls. I don't know about you. But, well, now, what's the thing about, I don't know if you heard my introduction, but a long time ago, somebody said, you know, Lorianne, you're in the country music thing. People from New York hate country music, so I don't ever go up there. I can't imagine no. who said that. I don't think they could have ever been there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we've had more mail and more, I mean, country music is really big in New York. You would know better than me. Well, I think one of the great misnomers is that New York is just the city, and the city is a wonderful place. But if you get north of New York City 50 miles, you're in the country. That's all there is to it. You're in the country for several hours. But basically, till you hit the Canadian border. Right. So it's it's there's a lot of dairy farms and a lot of people who live in the country. Well, I know you like that territory. You were telling me about Sage. You just bought some acreage up there. Yeah, yeah. We just Friday we bought. We looked at this great piece of land up there in August, and we've been sort of deciding whether or not to do it. And I'm very happy that I did. It's about 12 miles from where my dad lives. My brother still lives up in that part of the country. My sister's in Vermont. My grandmother's still in the hometown. And it feels great for all the traveling I do to think, I think Thomas Wolfe was mistaken. I think you can go home. I really believe mm -hmm. you can. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. Well, will you really get to spend time there? Mm -hmm. It's the kind of place I visualize five years from now. Having There's an old barn on the property that I want to restore, turn into a house, actually, down in this little creek. And I can see myself living there and, and writing songs uh, five years from now. And, and maybe, I, I want to raise llamas. Llamas? Yeah, I don't know why. Just, you know, yeah. you know they spit terrible nasty no, I think, stuff. I don't think that's true. I don't think so. I've met a couple llamas out in West Texas. <laughs> so they're real nice. I did. We stayed at the Hotel Turkey out in Turkey, Texas, and they have a couple. Have you ever seen one spit? Llamas. It's this brown stuff. So and what's it's... wrong with a little spit? <laughs> I guess it depends on where it comes from. <laughs> yeah, well, where it's received. I if it's on your suit, there's a lot wrong with that. Well, I get my llama coveralls, Charlie. Oh, well, see, that makes all the sense. What do you think? You put on a wetsuit to go feed the llamas? <laughs> <laughs> the llamas are getting a bad rap. No, they're not. No, no, no. It's just that there are not that many llamas mm -hmm. in Nashville. I know some people who do have them, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's the attraction, you know? I don't really know. Until I met these, these, these pair of llamas out in Turkey, Texas, I really had no feel for it one way or the other. But this, I really like these guys. <laughs> so I don't know. Right, okay. Why not? No, I don't. Some have died. Some have Why not? Why not? I know. Now, is Charlie just came from the studio today? Are you working on another album? Yes, I am. Right? Absolutely, yeah. And it's time. Um, I've been time? in the studio for about a week intermittently, and uh, we've got seven or eight songs that we're pretty pleased with. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, you know, now you said that the Sure Love album was such a, a giant step for you, and it really showed how you had evolved. How will this next album show your evolution? I've decided that it's time to actually have fun with this. Hey! Yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing extraordinary other than I'm very much enjoying myself now. I'm not, I'm not concerned with anybody else's game or what anybody else is doing. I'm so involved in my own work that this record will be even more of a celebration of that, I think. You know, you, you once said that uh, being where you are and enjoying the success that you are in country music, you look upon as a privilege. Oh, it is indeed, Charlie. I mean, this is, for me, it was a change. I mean, I actually virtually stopped being a carpenter um, after 20 years as a carpenter and decided to become uh, a paid singer songwriter a professional in other words. if you will yeah, yeah. paid professional and so they sort of really just change lifestyles uh and achieve that it's a pretty yeah it is it's a great privilege was right. it a rude awakening it's it's ruder by the day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think you meant some of our staff no uh, <laughs> mine too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well anyway we're, we're very happy and thrilled with the success that, that you bring to country music and i know a lot of things going on. We'll uh, get back with you a little bit later in the show and get more updates, okay? Thanks,